Luxury and welcome to the program fuckers hello fuckers and today I'd like to talk about why Australia and specifically Brisbane suck why do they suck and uh, before I go on there I'd uh, I'm going to have a I'm gonna have a whiskey this is some bohemian lead crystal glasses and I've I've poured a bottle of Blue Label Johnny Walker. Ooh, this is good shit, fuckers. Into a, a whiskey decanter. So I'll just pour a glass if you don't mind. Okay. It's my Bohemian Lead Crystal whiskey decanter. Absolutely beautiful. And, uh, cheers, fuckers. Very nice. Why do Brisbane and Australia suck? Let me tell you why. Australia. Subtropical, beautiful environment, yes, but we got a few problems. Number one, did you realize in Australia, we're a huge country, huge, one of the largest continents. And did you realize to send <clears throat> the train system, we've got three different types of track. We got narrow gauge, standard gauge and broad gauge. Never the twain may meet, fuckers. What a fucking stupid idea. Three different types of track. So you want to send something from Queensland to, say, Western Australia. You go down to Sydney. you got to change on to Queensland uses narrow. Sydney uses standard. Sydney then goes to Victoria. You're using broad gauge. And if you're going to Perth, it's narrow gauge again. What a fuck up. The infrastructure costs are horrendous. The Australian waterfront. The waterfront in this country here is nasty shit. Nasty shit. Nasty. You land a container here. You want to see container handling. Go to fucking Singapore. The bludgers here. They, the, <laughs> it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. And um, let me talk about taxes here. Taxes, we're quite a highly taxed nation. 
Not only do we have a GST, goods and services tax, of 10% on, on everything, we have very high income tax rates, and it's not uncommon for average earners to actually be pushed up into high brackets. High taxing, nasty shit. We've also got one too many tiers of government. In Australia, we have got local government. That's the council. They take care of sewage, bins, some of the bus services, libraries. Then we have the state government. They take care of some of the hospitals, the schools, the police force. Then we have the federal government. They take care of some universities, some of the school funding with the states. They take care of Canberra. They take care of the army, ACO, the Secret Service. So you've got three layers of government. Every one of these fuckers is put, they're sucking on the teat. The teat of society. You've got three layers of fucking government. Can you imagine the bureaucracy in getting any council approving approvals or? It's a fucking disaster. The other problem in Australia is you might say we've got a, such a huge land content, but everyone lives on the coastal fringes. Fucking barren, nasty stuff living in a in the countryside there. So Australia itself, opportunities, what's the opportunities like in this country? Well, let me tell you, it's pretty fucking nasty. Did you know, teaching graduates, so you, you've done a teaching degree, how many of them get a job in teaching the first year out from their degree? About 20%. Nursing graduates, so you're a registered nurse with a, a Bachelor of Nursing. How many of them get a job? Less than 30%. Less than 30%. You can always do aged care, isn't that right, Campbell? Aged care, that pays about 15 bucks an hour compared to a normal nurse who's earning about 30 to $40 an hour. Thank you, fuckers. It's a very, very nasty place. Australia is so regulated. I mean, you want to buy a car here? You want to buy a car here? High taxes. All the, all the rorts, it's not just the, the taxes. For example, a 3 Series BMW in Australia is about 60 grand for a 320i. C-Class Mercedes? About 70 grand for a basic C200 compressor. Crazy prices. It's not just the governments who are gouging. We're a small market. We've got a population of 22 million. When Mercedes Benz comes here, that's a premium product. So they whack on a bit more. Harvey Norman, they whack on a bit more too. Because, you know, it's logistics and this and that and. This is the country we're in. Australia is fucking expensive. Not only does the government fuck the shit out of you, the infrastructure sucks, and everyone's out to get what they can get from you. Housing. What does housing cost? I live in a lower middle class area. My house is worth $430,000. $430, if I wanted to rent a house in this area... You'd be paying minimum three fifty to four hundred a week. That's fucking expensive. We have virtually no manufacturing industries. They've gone to China a long time ago. We can't make shit. Our wages are too high. We've got iron ore, coal. Yep, yeah, that's that's good. The, the world it's all dependent on the world economy. It ain't that fucking good. <coughs> China's cutting back on. Nasty coking coal. And uh, iron ore and that there. 
It's no value added. It's just get this shit out of the ground, fuckers. Get that shit out of the fucking ground. What's the answer? Well, I mean, Australia is beautiful. We got beautiful skies. The weather in summer is a bitch. Expensive, expensive international city. World class. Yeah, world class means they can charge $72 for fucking three hours of parking. We got a lot of tolls now. Yes, Bob from Brisbane wanted me to mention this. Our tolls are fucking horrendous. Airport link, 450. Want to go to the Gold Coast? You take the Logan Motorway, you're looking at about three bucks in tolls. It's a nasty fucking world. It's nasty. It's vicious. It's mean. And uh, I got to tell you, fuckers, I got to tell you. Governments addicted to, they can't put the taxes up, so they have poker machine revenue. They have indirect taxes like speed cameras and red light cameras and infringement notices. They're a bunch of cunts. A bunch of cunts. <sighs> Free enterprise. You want to start your own business. There's regulation, red tape. You need a license and you need to register for, have an ABN and register. It's all a disaster. Modern day slavery you want to have a business, well, you possibly need a retail front. Need a retail front, you need to go to a Westfield, a big shopping centre. And uh, you become a, you basically, it's feudalism. It's feudalism because your rents are so high. You fuck it up, you go broke, you lose your house, you lose everything. It's a nasty world. Australia... Is it the land of opportunity? It's okay. There's some good things. We've got free health care. we got free schooling. But there's also some nastiness. The cost of living here is astronomical. We're one of the most expensive cities, one of the most expensive countries in the world to live in. It's a fucking rip-off. We've got three tiers of government. We've got infrastructure that doesn't work. Three different types of track to send shit from one side of the country to the other. Huge spaces means it's expensive to build highways and infrastructure. It's a fucking joke. Do I love Australia? i got a love-hate relationship. Yes, I love the fresh air, the outdoors, the parks. No, I don't like paying $7.50 for a mocha latte soy a choc soy ma caramel martin caramel latte with soy i don't like paying those prices it's a nasty world we live in it's nasty and it's vicious universities churn students through because they get revenue no social consideration of will these people get a job in the actual fucking world it's a nasty place. Australia, really? I want to pack my shit up and get the fuck out of here. I hate it. I hate it. Over-regulated. Over-fucking-stipulated. Over-regulations, fees and charges. It's all nasty shit. It's nasty. It's so fucking nasty. <coughs> What's the alternative? I look at countries like Asia, where everyone can be a small business. You, you In Bangkok, you just get a cart, get a barbecue, and you can sell fucking barbecued frog or chicken, and off you go. There's opportunities. Australia, we're living in a draconian age. We think it's going to get better and better. Well, fuckers. That ain't the fucking story. You ask your American friends. Remember the 60s Cadillacs? The general, the general now makes, they don't even make big American cars. They make SUVs. This is how the world has changed. As far as I'm concerned, Australia and Brisbane, you can go fuck yourself. 
I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Jeez, Archie, you're a bit negative. Hello, I'm Sister Lana from Calatrava Diocese. I'm a huge fan of Father Archie Luxury. He's so amazing. He has a message from God. Archie is a huge fan of Holy Trinity. The Catholic Church is a huge fan of Patek Philippe. Jesus would not wear an ETA based wristwatch. I have it on good ground that St. Peter wears a Vacheron. Mother Mary wears a two-ton Rolex lady date just with diamond dial. Judas wore a Panire, the watch of true evil man. Please join me on the sharing the Archie Luxury program with all luxury watch lovers. Я люблю тебя, Archie Luxury. Жить не могу без тебя. We're seven, we're Brisbane From the mountains down to the sea Yeah, she's the city we love She's the best in the world And there's no place I'd rather be